fired you. I feel like this is partially my fault. Now, Peter, it's perfectly normal to siphon jet fuel from an active runway with the intention of flying a pickup truck. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble, but my redneck days are over. No more crotch shots of me getting out of a car. Well, what are you gonna do now, Quagmire? Hey, it, it, it's all right. I, I got enough in my savings until I find another job. I'll be fine. Three weeks later. an annoying little homo screaming in my kitchen. Which one do you think I'm more pissed about? I'll remind you that I was invited here. All right, who's up there? Oh, hey, Peter. Hey, Lois. Glenn, what are you doing up there? Oh, I kind of moved in, if that's okay. No airline will hire me after the accident. I'm broken jobless. Quagmire, you belong in a tree. You're a nut. Quagmire, you're staying with us. Oh, great. This is going to be worse than the time I lived with Marley Matlin. Hi, Stewie. Oh, come on, Marley. I know you can't hear them, but you've got to feel those things slapping out of there. Hey, listen, I, I really want to thank you guys for taking me in in my time of need. Oh, forget it, Quagmire. It's the least we could do after what happened. Hello? Oh, you must have a wrong number. There's no one here by the name of Long Rod Von Hugendong. Okay, now add 20. Okay. Now multiply it by 4. Okay. And what do you got? 8,008. And what does 8,008 look like on a calculator? Oh, boob! Boob, yeah! All right, all right, all right, boob! What if we had two calculators and we put them next to each other? <gasps> yes, 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 find one, yes. You and I need to talk about Quagmire. He, he's been living with us for over a month, and I, I think it's enough now. Lois, I'm the whole reason he lost his job and his house. Besides, I can't throw my best friend out on the street like a prom night dumpster baby. Besides, Quagmire doesn't even have a job. Well, you're going to have to help him find one, because I've had enough of him living in this house. Yeah, you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? So how's the job hunt going? Yeah, it's awful, Cleveland. Quagmire blew every gig we got him. Yeah, you did a terrible job as my nurse. You make your doo-doos, Joe? Shut up. You make your doo-doos? I said shut up! There's no doo-doos today! I'm pretty sure I smell doo-doos. Oh, uh-oh, what's that in there? Doo-doos, they're stinky. Ew. Quagmire, how'd you like to help me commit suicide? And then I got that job on the Starship Enterprise. Dude, you gotta introduce me to that black chick. Guys, the only thing I know how to do is fly a plane. That's what I was born for. And I'll never be happy unless I can do it again. And that's the only answer. Somehow, we've got to get Quagmire his job back. Fellas, I think I have an idea. Okay, guys, let's go over the plan one more time. Quagmire will pose as an airline passenger on the 6 o'clock flight to New York. Then Joe and I will sneak into the flight attendant's lounge while Cleveland distracts the security personnel. Once we have the uniforms and credentials, Cleveland, Joe, and I will board the plane posing as flight attendants. Once we're in the air, we drug the pilots, at which point Quagmire is forced to step in and land the plane safely, making him a hero. Everybody clear? Boy, this sounds like more trouble than a...